Well, that's because you drool too much. <sighs> Welcome back to the show, guys. We made uh, some amazing rhubarb liqueur earlier. If you missed that, click that link and go check that out. But now it is time to use our liqueur and make some awesome cocktails. So we are making a rhubarb spritz, a rhubarb collins, and a strawberry rhubarb margarita. These are all going to be fantastic. So let's jump right in. Let's not waste time with the rhubarb spritz. So this is an easiest, easy one. We're just gonna use, um, get a wine glass, white wine glass, fill it with some ice, fill it right to the top. I'm gonna crack another one here, get a little more ice going in there. Last one. Come on, all right. Okay, so we're gonna go straight with our rhubarb liqueur. We're gonna do two full ounces. Yeah, wrong jigger there. Two ounces of rhubarb. Okay, after that we're going to do three ounces of a sparkling rosé wine. We're using rosé just so that to keep that red color vibrant, but obviously any sparkling wine will do fine. Okay, so... Going with the ounce and a half side, we're going to do two pours of that. Now, depending on the sweetness of your sparkling wine, as well as, as whatever level of sweetness you like, you could add a little bit of simple syrup if you want this a little sweeter. Um, my Mine's going to be a little on the bitter side, but, you know, this is kind of like an Aperol spritz, so I want it kind of bitter. So... There's a good sweetness coming from the liqueur, but the uh, the the sparkling wine is a little bitter, but that's the way I like it. All right, for garnish, I'm gonna put in there a uh, blood orange slice. You could also use a um, grapefruit slice. I think having something with a nice red color will really um, make the, the color pop. We're gonna top with a little bit of soda water, and there it is, a refreshing rhubarb spritz. Um, this one was really good. Rhubarb flavor up front, uh, like I said, slight bitterness. All right, for our next one, we're using a local Old Tom Gin. It's made with sumac. Um, it's from Kinsip Distillery, and so that sumac gives it a nice red color, so it's going to pair well with the uh, rhubarb liqueur. So we're starting with an ounce and a half of rhubarb. Yeah, so it's a really amazing local Old Tom Gin. If Obviously, most of you won't be able to get this. Uh, you can use any Old Tom Gin, or you can even just use uh, any London Dry Gin. I don't think it'll matter all that much. Um, so an ounce and a half of our gin as well. I, I chose this one mainly because of the color. Once again, it's going to play nicely with the rhubarb color. Okay, so we're doing three quarter ounce of lemon juice. All right, then we're going to do... Get the bottle there. Come on. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Okay, we're gonna fill our glass with ice. Do a little flippy move and give her a good shake. Yeah. Slap to unseal. Now, this is a Collins, so obviously we're serving this in a Collins glass. And we're gonna put a straw in there first and then we're gonna slide in some nice big chunks of clear ice. And then strain our concoction right over the ice. So that beautiful color, beautiful rose color. Leave a little room at the top because we will be topping this off once again with a little bit of soda. I just love a Collins. Any Collins, they're fantastic drinks. Um, for the garnish, I chose a dehydrated orange slice. I think that one's also a blood orange. I just figured the blood orange works really well with the rhubarb color, so can't really garnish with rhubarb, it's so huge. <laughs> okay, on to our last one, the strawberry rhubarb margarita. So we've got some nice Esplone tequila and some lovely local strawberries. These are super sweet. So we're gonna grab about two or three of my strawberries, depending on the size, you know, you don't need like a massive amount of strawberries. 
And we're gonna give these a muddle. You can tell by the color, these are really fresh, very sweet. Look how deep red that color is. This is time of year, man, for strawberries. Oh my god, they're so good. Alright, good muddle, get all the juice out. We're gonna go in with our rhubarb liqueur. We're doing an ounce and a half. After that, we're gonna go with our Reposado tequila. I'm using Espalone. Great tequila. It's one of my go-tos. Um, I'm gonna do a full two ounce pour. So basically this margarita, um, the rhubarb liqueur is, um, is basically replacing the orange liqueur. So if you wanna add some Cointreau in there, go for it. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, one ounce of lime juice. One thing I didn't do here is a half an ounce of simple syrup. I didn't think I'd need it. I thought the strawberries would be sweet enough, but I kind of regretted it. So go ahead and add half an ounce of simple syrup. All right, flippy move, ice, hard shake. Okay, now we're going to serve this in a rocks glass. Now I did not uh, rim with salt, mainly because I forgot. Uh, you can definitely do that if you want. I mean, it is a margarita. I don't know if it's gonna add or if it's gonna be good with uh, with a rhubarb and the strawberry, maybe. Um, but definitely, if you want to, go ahead and rim with salt. I just, like I said, didn't do it because I forgot. All right, crack some more ice. There we go. You could serve with a big rock here. It doesn't really matter. I just went with cracked ice. We're gonna double strain, however, because we don't want those strawberry bits and all that strawberry flesh to go into the drink. We just want the juice. So definitely double strain. And look at that color. Beautiful color. That's from the fresh strawberries as well as our Rhubarb liqueur, give it a tappy tappy, make sure to get every last drop. Looking good. Okay, for garnish, we're going with a lime wheel and a strawberry, obviously. And there it is, strawberry rhubarb margarita. So amazing drink, strawberry forward, rhubarbs there, and of course, lovely tequila. All these were fantastic. If I had to pick one, favorite, I would say the spritz, because the spritz, there's nothing to bury the rhubarb. The rhubarb is really front and center. Uh, the Collins and the Margarita, both the gin and the tequila kind of took over because they're very strong spirits. But in the spritz, um, you really taste it. They're all great, but the spritz is definitely my favorite. Um, and there it is, guys. Three amazing um, drinks with our homemade rhubarb liqueur. I hope you give these a try. I hope you give the liqueur a try. And um, we'll see you next time. Cheers.